right, so now we're heading up to the ski lift there, and then we're gonna zip line down. Got a group of people with us here that's going up on the ski lift. One thing you gotta say, the um, service is fantastic. They educate you on what you need to do, so you don't have to worry about that. And um, the people are really nice and friendly, so that's cool. There is also a museum over here, a gift shop, and then Milo's restaurant, which is over here. It's a nice place you can come eat afterwards to enjoy that amazing experience. So looking forward to all of that. The park is really nice. It's very pristine. You can see the nature wrapped around this park. Museum here inside the, uh, going up the hill. You have soy machines antique soy machines we have an art culture here we have some paintings on the art there's a sword a very old sword I will crunch with time so I can't go in detail but this is our forest inhabitant and then it has tools that our forest inhabitants use in the island there's like a jar some more museum piece that are over a century old which is awesome. These are some tools that were used to create the pieces. This is back before we had jigsaw and electrical um, stuff that we used to currently construct stuff. This is uh, when back in the days, 100 years ago, there was no tools. So everyone was using hand and steel and making their own tools, which is pretty cool. So this is the zip line um, pulley that takes us up. All right, so we're on this uh, little trolley that's taking us up. We're gonna get a nice slow um, ride up to the top of the hill. All right, here with my girl Sherry. Sherry and me riding solo on this cart, and we're going up the top of the ski. Looking forward to that ride. And the view around us is spectacular. You can see all the natural uh, habitation here. You have the trees. Um, nothing was destroyed, I, I could see that. And we're going up to this tall peak right here. I believe it's called the Flying Dutchman, which is the tallest peak, about 2,900, call it 3,000 feet. Uh, we're gonna be zip lining down. So that is gonna be a trail. Looking forward to that. Not gonna lie, it's kinda scary. You gotta have a you gotta have a strong heart for this because as you're going up, you're looking down and you can see how steep the drop is. And in, in terms of like seat belt, there's not much of a seat belt. You have this bar right here that uh, you put your leg through to make sure you don't fall forward. It's very long. And um, this is the seat right here. So not for the faint heart but we did hear stories that a 70 year old uh, lady uh, actually did this climb which was pretty impressive we are younger than that and we still feeling scared so let's see how this go my girl Sherry here this is our like 12th no, zip line no, no, no. she's a popular zip liner she got a net like if you fall over catch her in the net you know over there right. yeah, I jump out. Jump off you want to go back again? So this is called the this is called the schooner schooner tubing schooner tubing and this is what we're gonna be using. We're gonna be going into one of these here. It's like kayaking, right? Just with the water. Yeah. We're gonna go to go on one of these here. Uh, there's more back there and we're going down a slide. So looking forward to that. Let's check that out. Lots of lots of adventure today. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, share, leave a comment below. And if you're looking for the address to this place in this video, I'll have the address. You can come check it out if you're um, interested. Look for the camera. Woo! Woo woo! Alright, Cher, you turn. 
good knowing you. Smile. <laughs> Ready? Smile. Don't look scared. got to see me ride the um, the tube down that was awesome that was fantastic can't get better than that that was amazing now we're gonna on to the next activity which I'm not sure what it is next but every time you finish a course or activity you get a wristband and they check it off on your wristband this is a three activity event here so we're gonna see what the next uh, event is that was cool all right, so I got clarification. The TCD on the band is uh, T is for the tubing, C for the canopy, and D is for the Dutchman. So that is why flying Dutchman. That's why you see that, and you have to scan this here every time you finish or you start one of the activity at the uh, resort here. So I know we're after the next adventure. This is the canopy we're going on to. feet tall um, and uh, we had a really good um, trainer educated here snow that told the history about this um, zip line it is truly an incredible zip line with um, a great view of the entire St. Martin Bay so pretty much looking forward to it excited scared a little bit but looking to what this brings and hopefully we'll see you at the bottom so stay tuned, subscribe, like, share, see you on the other side. So that is where we're going to be taking out from. Going all the way down to the bottom. Oh 
over here, you can see the sign. That's the viewpoint for Anguilla. Anguilla Island right over here. And this here is the viewpoint for the Bart. The Bart Island is right beyond the mountain over there. Very cool. Really awesome view. And nice to see all the different islands around. All right, here we go. Top of the takeoff of the Flying Dutchman. An even more spectacular view all across. There's also a bar right here. Which is cool. Come here and get a drink. Pretty awesome. It. That was the Flying Dutchman, just came up. It wasn't that bad, it was a little scary at the first like three seconds, but after a while, um, you were going pretty smooth. You didn't feel jerky, a little bit of wind, crosswind, but it wasn't that scary at all. All right, we're all done here. We can check this off. We did it, the Flying Dutchman. Um, not so scary, don't get too terrified if you're doing it, um, but it's definitely a great view, you must check it out, and I'll have the link of where to find this here in the description, um, but this is one of the iconic TripAdvisor recommended things to do when you're in St. Martin. So we're going to go grab some food um, and then enjoy Maho Beach is our next stop. Check out the planes landing at the iconic Maho Beach. <laughs>